Hey, it's Adam from Indy 88 again, joined by Jason and Wes from the Darcy's. Uh, what have you guys been looking forward to seeing at this festival today so far? Well, Hayden, for one, for me, is something I've, some, someone I've loved for a long time. Never had the opportunity to see, so that's uh, that's exciting. And uh, I, I really want to see, I want to see Broken, obviously, but Block Party, too. I think that'll be really fun. Why was it important for you guys to be a part of this festival today? You know, we're a really young band, so the 10 years isn't as significant to us as it would be to a lot of the bands that have been around for 10 years. It's kind of only been around for a year on the label, and, and just to feel included. It's like, a, you know, everyone knows everyone. It's like a family. It's really nice. So. And it's nice. I mean, we haven't played a ton of shows in Toronto in the last year, year and a half, and so it's good to be part of the most Toronto thing possible. You haven't played a lot of shows in Toronto over the past year, but your tour schedule for 18 months has been relentless. Yeah, it's just crazy. But it's so it's nice to be home a bit. And, we, and then the funny thing is, as soon as the tour stopped, we started making a record. So we haven't had any time off. But then it's always nice to come out and do something like this, right? Honest to God, one of the heaviest tour schedules I've read in a long time. How difficult was that for you guys to slough through? Uh, difficult in a way, but really exciting because we got to see so many places and, and visit so many different cities that we would have otherwise never been to. In our lives, we, we visited continents that, on our own time, we'd never been to before. So it was like, it was pretty amazing, especially to meet people and play music for people that appreciate it. I imagine it was tough though, because you know, Darcy's band exudes passion, energy on stage. That's kind of your deal. So to do that day in and day out, you, you how don't party that hard after? <laughs> you go home, you're like, oh god, and then you have to wake up and do it again. But I remember when we got home. Our manager was like, what's up? Did you have a good time? We're like, oh, we're so tired. And he's like, cool. Well, when the new record comes out, it's going to be like three times that. And we're like, oh, OK. <laughs> Faking is really hard to do. It's more about just in your head finding a way to be there and get there as fast as you can. Because I don't know, I feel like people can see it. If you're not actually having a good time, it's really hard. I'm no actor. I don't care. You can, I think you can also, if, if it's not out there in the crowd, like if you, if you feel right off the top that people aren't sort of sending it back to you, you can kind of like we you know, sort of turn inwards and we just sort of like play like a practice and we play really hard sort of internally and try to play through that whatever and then hopefully it shows up.